Hi, my name's Kat. I'm going to be showing you today how you can make a cloud in a bottle. We're going to be learning about weather. So when clouds form outside, we need water. In this case, we're going to be using rubbing alcohol. Uh, this actually evaporates a lot easier than water, so that's why we're using that in this demonstration. So, as I said, outside, when it rains or there's water on the ground, or that we have things like lakes and oceans, as the heat from the sun evaporates that water, that's when a liquid turns into a gas, uh, it actually starts to rise. As it gets very high into the Earth's atmosphere, it starts to cool down again. Uh, and when a gas turns back into a liquid, we call that condensation. As that happens very high up in the atmosphere, it actually starts to, the water molecules start to cling to dust and salt and small particles in the Earth's atmosphere. When a lot of those come together, we have a cloud. When that cloud gets very full of water and it gets very heavy, it starts to rain and we call that precipitation. So today what I'm going to need to make a cloud in a bottle is a two litre pot bottle, some rubbing alcohol, a bicycle pump, some safety goggles because we will be creating a lot of pressure inside this bottle and we don't want this to fly off and hurt anybody. And I also have a volunteer with me to help me out. This is Jess. Jess, if you wouldn't mind putting on your goggles too. We're going to pour a small amount into the bottle. Okay. And we're actually going to swish that rubbing alcohol around. What this will do is it helps the rubbing alcohol to evaporate. So you want to get a nice layer around the inside of the bottle. So what we have here, we have a bicycle pump. Uh, we've taken a rubber stopper, size three or four will work for this demonstration. We also have a ball inflating needle, which you need to push through the stopper and you need a small amount to come out of the other side. We're gonna put that inside the pot bottle. This creates a really good seal. We're gonna try and make sure that as much of the air stays inside as possible. And Jess, if we can do four big pumps. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So what's happening now is we're actually pushing a lot of air inside this bottle. It's causing all of those air molecules to squish really tightly together and we call that pressure. Uh, when you have pressure, you actually increase temperature too. So we're making this rubbing alcohol evaporate, turning from a liquid to a gas. When I let go, that pressure is going to decrease. The temperature will also decrease and the gas will turn back into a liquid. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. And there we go, a cloud in a bottle. Here at Science World, however, we like to do things much bigger. Okay, so this time we have this large flask. We're gonna do the same thing. We already have rubbing alcohol inside. We're gonna swish it around. Again, this helps the rubbing alcohol to evaporate more easily. Okay, we have a slightly different attachment. We still have a rubber stopper, but our ball needle is already in place. I'm gonna clip this on. Okay, Jess, same again, four big pumps. So we're doing the same thing, pushing lots of air inside, causing those molecules to squish together, and that liquid is going to evaporate, turn into a gas. And when we let go, here we go, three, two, one. Okay, cloud in a flask. And you can look up this and many more experiments on the Science World Resources website.